Storm Warning was shot in the city of Corona, California, which had a history of violent discrimination against Italian, Latino, and Black Americans, and a real Klan presence. In the 1920s, after three Black businessmen purchased the local country club, the Klan burned a cross on the golf course. And actually, right before filming this picture, a citizen of Corona approached Ronald Reagan and offered to rent actual Klan robes to the production. And while the picture deals directly with the Klan, it never touches directly on race hatred, not directly. The minute I get the Klan on the run, it's inconvenient. We can't stand the publicity, bad for business, the Christmas rush. A hundred reasons for dropping the whole thing like a hot rock. Well, not for me. Now, when I was a boy, I, I think I was nine years old when I saw this, I knew none of these things about the Klan or that sort of thing. I just saw this movie come up on the screen. But I could feel the tensions and the mood of the picture, the look of it, the staging the crowd scenes that were obviously cast with locals. I mean, the picture may not deal with racism directly, but you really feel it in the presence of the black men and women in the crowds around the courthouse before they start the inquest and in the sudden shocking appearance of children in the arms of their hooded parents at a Klan rally. Oh, Mr. Rainey. She ought to be home in bed. <laughs> 